Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we are going to be looking at connecting this Microsoft Xbox One controller to the PC you see in front of you. So first of all we will, I'll just pan the camera, I'll just move the camera and pan it up so we can do an unbox of the, give me one second here, right. I'll move it there and we can do an unbox of the controller. Obviously I bought this from game so it's the Xbox controller and charge kit. So give me a second, just need to figure out how to get into this. Give me a sec, I'll just get a screwdriver to break the seal there. So we've broken the seal and let's see what we get inside. Right, I'm just taking off camera to open it. Obviously you get the Xbox control. You get the charge pack. We'll remove the cardboard out of the way and you get the charge lead. The other bits obviously are just instructions and all this stuff. We don't need these, I'll just put these out of the way. So if we uncoil this to start with, obviously this is just your USB lead. See that end connects to the controller and that end plugs into the USB port of the PC. I mean I already have a 360 controller for use with my PC but I thought why not have an Xbox One as well. I mean I do already ha own an Xbox One but um, I don't really want to use that controller because you have to resync it every time you use it with a PC. So obviously open that up is the battery compartment. There's the battery lid and that is the battery pack we'll just obviously take the polythene off, I'll put that with the other box and then we will slot this into the Xbox One controller so to get your controller make sure you see pins down there Get this and take like that and slide it in. Then we replace the controller like that. At this point, obviously, the Xbox controller has come to life because there's some charging in there. So next. We plug that cable into the Xbox there. Excuse me a second, I'll just pan the camera down to the PC. Obviously, as you can see, there's my PC. So we plug that in and I'll pan back up to screen so you can see the screen. As you can see there, Oh, may not be able to see that well. Windows is now searching for drivers for the car. For the Xbox controller. that's gone away so if we now go into control panel and do, 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 I don't know if it's devi devices and printers 
as long as my PC doesn't bomb out. Give it a second. And as you can see, the Xbox controller is there. So if we go to Gamer Controller Settings, as you can see, it says Xbox One Controller. So we go to Properties on that, and we spin that round, press the various buttons, do that, that. It's all working. Next, I'll move a tripod back, fire up a game in Steam, and you can see what it looks like. Prove I'm not cheating. There's the Xbox controller. Libraries. Go for Spartan Assault. Start that up. Settings, video settings, I don't know. Don't know why Spartan Salt has gone into. Spartan Strike, sorry, so we go to play on that. Why is everything stuck? As you can see, I'm pressing the A button, not touching the keyboard. Select. Using the keyboard control again. So we go to there. Here to select. Here to select again. Here. Press that when I'm ready. As you can see. To continue. Ambush. They're after the conduit. Uh -oh. Got a hornet en route to extract you. Protect the conduit, Spartan. See, as you can see, that's how to use an Xbox controller. All you literally do is plug the comms cable in, plug the charge cable in, plug it into PC, Windows 8 then finds it, or in my case Windows 8.1, and basically you're ready to go. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.